In today's video, I'm going to cover a few basics that I have forgotten to cover in the first few videos. I'm going to show you how to use the visual editor, how to make your text bold, how to italicize your text, those kind of things. I'm also going to show you how to make links. And these things are very basic things that I should have covered in the first video or two, and I didn't, so I'm sorry. Um, I'm also going to explain the difference between the visual editor and the text editor. With the visual editor, that's kind of like using Microsoft Word. Um, the text editor is actually inserting code, and I'm going to explain which of those two I like to use more and why. So let's go ahead and get started. Thanks for coming by. So go ahead and log into your dashboard, and the first thing you're going to notice right away is that it's telling us at the top here that WordPress 3.5.2 is available. Please update now. We do need to update our site. This is something you don't need to do with the free version of Word WordPress, but you do need to do when you're hosting your own WordPress website. I'm going to show you how to do this in the next video. You'll also notice over here that there are three updates we need to perform. And there are two plugins that need to be updated as well. This is something you're going to find out to be a normal thing with the hosted version of WordPress. You're going to need to keep your site up to date. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my home page. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit my home page. So at the top here, click Edit Page. And I'm going to add a link to my WordPress tutorials on YouTube. Here's my first video. Make a professional website number one. Get your domain name. I'm going to copy my URL. Then back on my site here, I'm going to find some words that I want to make a link out of. So I'll, I will highlight how to make a professional website. And then I'm going to hover over this chain link here. That's to make a hyperlink. And I'm going to paste in my URL right there. And I'm going to give the hyperlink a title. And then I'm going to click Add Link. Now, I can also click here, Open Link in a New Window. Actually, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to click Add Link. And then I'm going to click Update. Okay, the page is updated. Now let's go ahead back to the home page and see what the link looks like. There it is, a new link. And then when I hover over the link, you see the title I put in, My Cool YouTube Tutorials. Okay, so when you click on this, it will take you to okay, today. my video. So that's how you make a link. Now let's go back to edit page again and let's look at this. This is called the visual editor. This kind of runs like Microsoft Word. You can make text bold by highlighting it and then clicking the B here. So let's highlight uh, these tutorials are different than most on YouTube and make that bold. Boom, that's now bold. And then you can italicize text in the same way. You can make bulleted lists here. You can have block quotes here. Um, left aligned text, centered text, right aligned text, etc., etc. That's how you use the visual editor. It's very similar to using any word processing program. If you have specific questions about it, ask them in the comments section. Now, here's the text editor. See this little box that says text? If you click on that, you now see the code. Instead of seeing this nice pretty layout here and seeing the bold text and the linked text, you actually see the code. So here's the link right here, what I just highlighted. That's the code to the link. Here is the bolded text right here. That's the code to the bolded text. So why would anybody want to use the text editor as opposed to the visual editor? Well, the answer to that question is that most of the time you wouldn't want to use the text editor over the visual editor. Honestly, I find myself in the text editor all the time. That's all I use. Uh, why? Well, it's hard to explain, but a lot of times when you're trying to position things just so on a page, it's kind of hard to do it here. If you want a line break in a certain space, or if you want more than one line break, or different things like that, you kind of need to know how to use the text editor. And there are other reasons as well, but for the time being, just use the visual editor and you'll get what you want most of the time. As we get further into this website building business, you'll see why in the future we need to use the text editor sometimes. 
But one thing I will warn you about, within one post, don't go switching back and forth between the visual editor and the text editor, especially if your page gets kind of complex and you have different things, a lot of different things in there. A lot of times when you click on the text editor and then go back to the visual editor, uh, your code will change and the, the look of your site will change. Why WordPress does that is beyond me, but it likes to self-correct sometimes. So if you start using the visual editor, you should stick in the visual editor. If you're using the text editor, you should stick with the text editor. You can switch back and forth, but you may find that you have a little um, layout problems if you do that too much. Anyway, that's just a warning for the future. I wouldn't worry about it too much right now. Just for the time being, stick with the visual editor. That'll make your life easier. So that's about it for this video. It's a short and sweet video. Uh, one other thing that I can show you is that if you click this, this icon right here, it will give you some more options like um, indenting, changing the colors of your text, uh, underlining, etc. What I would do is just play with each of these buttons and see what each of them does. They are pretty self-explanatory if you're familiar with uh, word processing programs at all. Be sure to click update before you leave your page to make sure you save your changes. Although WordPress has a nice habit of saving drafts for you when you forget to click update, so uh, you don't usually lose things that you've worked on. Okay, so on our next video, remember, I'm gonna show you how to update your site. And could you just click update now? Yes, you could. But I think it's really important to teach you first how to back up your database and back up your WordPress website before you start clicking update now. WordPress is very stable. The updates almost always work but sometimes there are problems. So it's very important to back up your WordPress website and your database before you update your site and before you update anything. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next video. Don't miss it. And don't update your site quite yet. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is go check our home page to see our changes. Here is our link and here is our bolded text. Now you know how to use the visual editor and you know the difference between the visual editor and the text editor. Okay, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you learned a lot and I hope your website becomes much more professional as a result of watching this video. Uh, so Elena, what are you doing here? Um, I'm here to say, please subscribe to our channel. Got anything else to say to the people? Peace out, people. Come back soon. And the next video will be coming soon, tomorrow or the next day. Uh, probably not that soon. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> okay, cut.